Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 7 in Azure Data Explorer playlist. This is continuation to previous videos. So always try to watch all my videos in the same sequence order so that you will make sense of it because every video may be directly or indirectly interconnected with a previous video. Okay. So this session we are going to focus on how we can visualize the data in Azure Data Explorer using concept called dashboards. That means dashboard is nothing but like a reporting area where you keep all your stuff and you, you, you try to watch them, right? So similar dashboards concepts you might have seen in Power BI as well, right? The same dashboards concept is there in Azure Data Explorer as well. That means let's assume this is like a dashboard page. Inside a dashboard, you will have multiple pages. Maybe this is like a page one, okay? And then maybe you have another page called page two. So multiple pages you have, the moment you click on any page, then in that page, all the visuals may appear for you. Okay. So you might have created some dashboard to analyze your business with some visual representation of the data, right? So all that visuals will appear here. Basically in reporting area, it will very useful, right? So this dashboards concept is there in Azure Data Explorer as well. We are going to quickly see how it look like with some sample demo basically and as I said dashboard is nothing but like a collection of tiles actually uh, when I said here right every visual representation will be like a one tile tile is nothing but like a one box actually so dashboard is nothing but like a collection of tiles which is organized in pages and then every page will have one or more tiles and when you are able to visual some uh, diagram or some graph in tile that means underlyingly we have some custo query running there on top of your data and giving you that visual in our last video also we tried to uh, create a visual right we rendered column chart right if you haven't seen my last video that is part six please watch it we rendered some column chart from the kql query that means custo query so that uh, same kind of visuals we can get it by running queries basically and finally taking all that visuals into pages of the dashboard so that's what we are going to see in this video the first step will be like a creating a dashboard and then we need to add a data source that means from which adx server database or cluster database i should take the data and then finally once the visual ready or once the query ready take that visual and add it into dashboard so let me practically show you these steps so will you so that you will get sense of it so this is my uh, browser so here as you guys already know we need to navigate to data explorer dot azure dot com url to open uh, adx url in web portal right so let me open that you can open from the azure portal as well i shown that in my previous videos so once i open this url so this is the sam same samples database under help cluster right if you remember or if you have seen my previous videos you know that under help cluster we have this uh, database called samples in which we have a ta tables folder under which we have strom events folder and here we have a table called strom events and this table holds the data related to the stroms happened in are across the states right uh, you already know this i don't go in detail about it if you haven't watched previous videos please watch it and also what we did in our last video we executed one query here uh, what query we executed is we query we executed this query right uh, let me execute this and show you when i execute this query it is going to take all the uh, strom events and uh, creating a group by state and then giving the data and that data we are rendering as a column chart so that's the reason you can see data is represented in column chart here you can clearly see right okay so now here this is all we have seen in our last video already so to create a dashboard we need to navigate to this dashboards menu under dashboards menu we have to create a new dashboard here we can click this create new dashboard button to create a dashboard so let me hit this create new dashboard and here let me name it my dashboard name as maybe like demo so i have made a zoom and let me hit create button to create a dashboard 
and once the dashboard created you can see there is something called pages in which i have page one you can create more pages as well and under every page you have this tiles under this tile you need to have a custo query that runs some kind of query on top of your data and render you the visual so what i can do here is first i need to add data source here so i clicked on this three dots here and then i have to select data sources here to add a data source so let me hit that and let me hit this new data source let me name like samples is my data source name and here i am going to use the same help cluster what we have seen in our previous video windows.net and inside this let me hit this connect button to connect to this cluster and inside this we have a samples database in which i have storm events table which you seen in the last video and also we have seen just now right let me hit create button to create this da data source let me close this once you created a data source you can hit this add tile button to create a query and create a visual out of it actually you can see the same thing in the tool tip also so here it says the same thing so let me hit this add tile the moment i does that it will take me into the query mode and let me remove this query here and you can see it is connected with my samples data source if you want to add more data sources maybe you want to connect with another database called abcd uh, which is there in the same cluster on a different cluster then create a data source for that as well here and connect your query with that data source and execute this query here so now in the notepad i already have one query so let me take this query so what this query does is it is going to do the same thing it is going to group by all the events by state uh, that will directly give you like in every state how many events or storm events are happening and uh, i am taking where the events are more than 1800 so let me run this query here when i execute it you can see here my data is state column event count column this is a tabular representation data i want to convert to visual so i can hit this add visual button and here i can add something like events by state that is the title of the tile i want to add and visual type i don't want table maybe i want to take a column chart so i can select this like this and that's it leave the defaults maybe and then finally minimize this and hit this apply changes button the moment i add apply changes you can see i created a tile out of it using that query in my dashboard called demo you can see here i am under demo here i am under demo dashboard here okay so i added one tile so can i add more tiles yes you can add more tiles hit this add button and select this add tile button here and again for now the same data source and i have another query here storm events summarize event this uh, let me copy this query for now and then explain you so here i am grouping by event types so there are so many types of the events like thunderstorms and lot of other things i am grouping them and taking the count of every event type and i am taking only the event types where their count is greater than 1800 so let me hit this run button to execute the query and you can see I got my query results you can see I have this like flash flood is 3688 thunderstorm wind is 13000 right this is the this is the tapa data I got I am hitting add visible I can say like uh, events by count that is the tile name I can give and I want to represent this in bar chart maybe like this and then finally I can hit this apply changes button to save the changes now you can see under my dashboard under page one i have two events i mean two two tiles one is events by state another one is events by count so like this what you can do you can execute your analytics on top of your data and then create visuals out of it and you can tile or pin all that visuals and keep it in your dashboard and your leadership team can go through all these dashboards and visuals and they can extract the business insights and take the business decisions very effectively that helps the organizations to grow i hope i covered everything on a high level for the dashboards how to create a dashboard 
how to add a data source to it, how to add a tile to it, how to run a KQL query inside it. Thank you for watching this video. So this is like one of the sample dashboard which available from the documentation page. I just pasted it here. But yeah, we no need to see that. We have already seen in a practical way. So that's it in this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.